Welcome to this webinar. Uh, my name is Dr. Denny Sarkis. I'm the Chief Scientific Officer at Boston IVF, and I'd like to also introduce you to my colleague. I'm Dr. Jamin Shaw. I'm the third year clinical fellow at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston IVF. So we're, we're very lucky, um, even though Boston IVF has um, is known for being a private clinic, we actually have a very strong association with Harvard Medical Group. And uh, Jamin and, and uh, other fellows actually uh, work with us for over three years during their fellowship when they become specialists in reproductive endocrinology and infertility. Part of that specialization is to actually perform uh, research that actually hopefully in the future may help uh, patients like yourselves that are listening or uh, will apply certain technologies. And today we wanted to talk about one particular technology that Dr. Shah was working on, uh, which involved the assessment of embryos and new novel technologies that we use to assess embryos. Um, I hope many of you are familiar with uh, the genetic testing we do on embryos to look at how many chromosomes there are, to look for abnormalities. We actually do that technique by actually taking a, a very small piece of the blastocyst of a, of a day five, six or seven embryo. We take about five to seven cells away from that embryo out of the hundred that are hundred or more that are there, and we actually analyze them genetically. So it's an invasive technique. But what we wanted to talk to you two about today was a novel technique that Jamin's been involved with, which is actually a non-invasive technique. So without actually touching the embryo or taking any cells away from it. So um, Jamin, can you briefly tell us about the technology you've been working on? Yeah, sure. So the study that uh, I had the opportunity to uh, lead um, with colleagues uh, through Boston IVF and through our, our Harvard University collaborators, was looking at a prospective uh, observational study using a technology, kind of an advanced form of imaging called fluorescence lifetime imaging microscopy called FLIM. And what that is able to do is to look at metabolic imaging of embryos, simplistically. And what we were able to do is to look at different components within the mitochondria, um, within the embryo, to look at different metabolic factors. So the embryos that we were looking at uh, in this specific study were looking at discarded human embryos that had already undergone the pre-implantation genetic testing for aneuploidy, as Denny alluded to, which so we already knew the chromosomal status um, of these embryos, comparing euploid versus aneuploid. And essentially what we did is we imaged both cohorts of embryos, and we wanted to identify if we could see any uh, distinct metabolic signatures between these two groups. And that, that was the hope that, you know, for future studies and future implications. And interestingly, in our study, we were able to see some metabolic differences when we were doing the FLIM microscopy between these two, between the euploid and aneuploid embryos. And we were able to see some distinct signatures, um, which is pretty uh, extraordinary findings and kind of showing that this technology hopefully will have some future benefit um, for patients uh, in the future. So, so we're very excited about this technology and, and other non-invasive technologies we're looking at. So the particular technology Dr. Shah was working on, you, you're all probably familiar with a glucose tolerance test or some sort of metabolic test you run on patients. So this is a metabolic test we, we run on embryos, if you want. But we, what's the beauty of it is we don't have to take a sample from them. Um, so this is a, a non-invasive test. It's a, it's a microscope that actually takes a, a rapid image of the, of the embryo. And from that, from that image, we can actually get this uh, health signature or met meta metabolic signature from that embryo. We're, we're also working on other non-invasive tests where we're testing the culture media and we, we, we're actually able to see signals in the, in the media, the, the fluid that the embryos grow in that can also give us this information. So I, I would hope in the future that, um, uh, that we'd be able to adopt these tests clinically and, and uh, use them in, in clinical practice. So Jamin, can you, can you just give us some more information about uh, some of the non-invasive tests that are also out there in addition to the FLIM that we've, we've used? Well, I, I first wanted to touch on one quick point regarding this, um, this technology. It's important to know that it has no harm to the embryo. We had only imaged the embryos for a few minutes, and the thought of how it potentially could work in future practice is that you could image the embryo, 
get some data, and then we would be able to kind of thought it to categorize or rank embryos and then be able to help patients by ranking embryos according to metabolic signatures in accordance to other um, technologies such as the PGTA with the invasive biopsy versus the non-invasive technology that Denny was alluding to. So this could be a great uh, use um, in, in combination with other technologies to rank embryos uh, for patients to transfer in the future. Uh, and so that's one uh, kind of important thought for future implications. Thanks, Javen. So, uh, you know, we're always on the lookout for um, new technologies, new new um, uh, methodologies that, that may be applicable to our field. And this is a, a great example of um, one of our fellows, actually Doc, Dr. Javen Shah was working on for the last few years during his fellowship and has actually um, was involved in this publication plus some other publications using the same technology. So if um, you know, we're we're always happy to talk to people if they're if they're listening to to explain to them some of these technologies. But as I said, we're we're always on the lookout for new technologies that hopefully will you know improve the patient experience. And in the aim, our our ultimate aim is to to help patients get pregnant, but uh, get pregnant quicker also. So thank you for listening, um, Jamin. I don't have anything to add. I, I... Uh, we're obviously really excited that we were able to find some interesting findings and, and hope that we can continue to use the FLIM technology uh, in future studies and hope that we can, as Denny said, help uh, you know the patient outcomes and the patient experience um, with the end goal of, of more pregnancies. Thank you. Thank you.